Good morning, fabulous YouTube community. Welcome back to another video in my Vlogtober series. We are doing part two of the video that I just posted uh, actually yesterday on how to live a better life starting right now. I'm gonna give you five more of my favorite, favorite tips and just ideas that you can implement into your own life to hopefully level things up. We are coming into 2022 very, very soon. So why not start this new year off with a good positive outlook and all the good things. So if that sounds good to you, grab a cup of coffee, stopped and got my Starbucks today. So I am caffeinated and ready to go and let's get started. So I want to start today with self-awareness. I think this is a wonderful, wonderful topic of conversation. It is something that I personally have worked on for many, many, many years. It's not something that I am a master of in any way, shape or form, but I really do try to practice this, like I said, daily. I'm always just sharing with you from the heart and from my personal experiences and my personal growth throughout the years. So being self-aware basically just means that you know yourself and you understand how your actions can ultimately affect others. And to put it a little more simply, I guess, if you will, it is a mindful consciousness of your strengths, your weaknesses and your presence and how your presence as I mentioned, can ultimately affect others. So I'm sure that we probably all have someone in our lives right now who could probably practice a little more self-awareness and that person could also be ourselves. So I'm just gonna give you a few examples of that um, and just some very basic examples, nothing that's too heavy today. Maybe let's say you're in a relationship and uh, you guys are sharing your space, you're sharing your home together and you're a very self-aware person. Let's say that for instance, every single morning when you wake up and you make breakfast, you make sure that you are very good and diligent and mindful and self-aware that you know if you don't clean up your mess and you don't pick up all the coffee that you spilled on the counter understand that if you make a big mess in the kitchen and you don't have time to clean it up or maybe you just kind of leave it there all scattered that that could actually affect your partner and maybe make them feel a little scatterbrained in the morning if they come in after you and see this mess that you've left there they might one feel responsible to clean it up Two, they might feel a little anxious because maybe it starts their morning off in a kind of chaotic way. But one way that you could practice being a little more self-aware is understanding that if you don't take the time to clean up that mess, likely your partner will take the time to clean up that mess. You are the one who made the mess, so maybe carving out a little bit more time and knowing that you're a messy person in the morning and trying to wake up a little bit earlier so that you can make your breakfast, have your coffee, and then have about five minutes to clean up your space so that maybe your partner can wake up to a nice environment and not feel that stress or that responsibility to pick up after you. Number two is self-care. probably heard a lot about self-care more recently. It's not a new concept or anything like that. I just feel like it's been a lot more discussed discussed in the past years and it is something that is very very important i think self-care you know can mean a lot of different things it can be self-care spiritually self-care mentally self-care physically or all of the above so i'm not going to talk about my morning routine anymore but that is one way that i can kind of check all three of those off the list so if you're unaware of my 5 a.m morning routine i'll go ahead and link my video below that i talk all about it i'm going to talk about just a few ways that you can implement a nice self-care into your routine also share a little story attached to that. I am personally the type of person who does not like to spend a lot of additional time, you know, doing my hair, doing my makeup, doing my nails, doing anything that's going to take me away from creating content for you guys or doing something fun or spending time with my family. I really just want to be in and out of the shower in the morning and make it as simple as possible. I have realized recently um, in doing that, that I'm not really taking the time to take care of my physical self. And a lot of times in taking care of my physical self, I'll notice that it transfers out into the world and I put my best foot forward. I've got my morning routine down. That makes me feel extremely good in the morning. So generally on Wednesday nights, my husband and son um, have an activity that they do together. So they're usually gone for a couple hours and I am able to then as I mentioned, maybe take a shower, put like a deep conditioner in, maybe I'm doing a manicure, maybe I am doing a teeth whitening, or maybe I'm doing a little more exfoliating on my skin, something that's very surface level, but also something that does make me feel good. It makes you feel like you're pampering yourself. And as I mentioned, sometimes when you do those things, it really does increase your confidence and it really helps you put your best foot forward. So I'd like to thank Madam Glam New York for sending me this at home gel nail kit. It comes with everything you need, including a small UV LED lamp. I was able to get three colors and one of them is Toffee Break. And I think this is just a perfect fall color. And then I chose a really nice neutral called Cream Donut, which is the one I'm currently wearing. It comes with a top coat as well as a base coat. And the very last color I got was called Braveheart. 
If you're interested in trying out Madame Glam New York, you can check out the description box for all the details, including a special discount code for you. So the very next thing I wanna talk about is eating well to be well. And I think that eating well can really mean a variety of different things. I think it can really um, ultimately come down to the right balance in your life. And I think you're the only one who is gonna be able to know what that right balance is. I like to practice something called intuitive eating. And really what that means for me is I like to just kind of eat what my body is needing at the time, not necessarily craving at the time. Trust me when I say there's a lot of times where I will indulge in cravings and things like that, um, but try to be in tune with what I think I need at the time. And if you're really still and quiet, sometimes your body is very capable of talking to you and telling you what you might need. I know for myself, I've been guilty in the past of not drinking enough water. Um, I've talked about it on my Instagram page before but I went through a period of time where I was experiencing a lot of dehydration, especially during the time um, in my life where I was performing and dancing and teaching a lot of classes. And I just was drinking way too much coffee <laughs> and I'm still guilty of that and not really hydrating and taking good care of my body like I needed to. That was affecting my skin. That was affecting um, my, my mental awareness. I try to make sure I'm getting enough protein throughout the day, especially if I'm being very physically active. I try to eat a lot of leafy greens and things that I know are good for me. I also have many times where I indulge in things like cakes and cookies and ice cream and things like that. So it really truly is about balance. And if you think about it, most things in our life are about balance. I think when you are fueling your body with good nutritious foods and you are intuitively listening to your body and making sure that it's getting the nutrients that it needs, you will feel so much better mentally and physically. But you can retrain your brain to have that balance and you will feel a lot better if you eat well to be well. We're coming into the last two here and number four, I believe we're on number four, if we're not on number four, I'll change it above, is getting the right amount of sleep for your body. And this also goes into understanding what is right for your body and how you feel the best. I don't think I can sit here and tell you that you need to get eight hours of sleep a day. I am perfectly good with six hours a day. If I am able to get a solid six hours of sleep every single night, I feel amazing. I feel so good in the morning, so focused and so clear headed. Sometimes if I sleep longer than say eight hours, I almost feel a little foggy brained. I'm somebody who very much likes to get up early in the morning and I like to go to bed early at night. Um, my son, my husband, myself, we're all on a pretty much, you know, 9.30 bedtime routine. Nobody complains about it. Everybody likes to go to bed early and kind of get up earlier in my house. I just feel like I'm most productive when I do it like that. Sleep is so, so important for us mentally, physically, emotionally. To all my new moms out there and to individuals who might have multiple children, multiple different ages, sleep is something that can be extremely, extremely hard. Sleeping can be extremely frustrating. And I know when my son was younger, he didn't sleep for about three years. He literally was the happiest baby, but he was just always wide awake and just, you know, ready to hang out and have fun. So, um, so I struggled during that time period a lot. I, I do remember it and I do know how physically tired you feel, how mentally exhausted you feel. If you can take a nap during the day, once again, I understand that that is extremely difficult. You can maybe go to bed a little bit earlier. It's so, so helpful. I I know that for myself, if I am watching a TV show too late at night, or if I'm scrolling on my phone or I'm doing something on my computer, it will generally kind of take me a little bit longer to fall asleep. So what I try to do is to get into bed and close my eyes without the TV, without a screen, try to just get into that nice state, that sleep state. And I am somebody who has very vivid dreams almost every single night. And I look so much forward to those dreams because it takes me to a, a faraway fantasy and I never know what's gonna happen. So I very much enjoy my sleep and going to bed early and waking up early in the morning. So if you can find a sleep schedule that works for you, you will truly feel so much better mentally and physically. Now, the very last one is so, so important. It's so simple. It's something that you can literally do immediately after you are done watching this video. And that is go give someone else a compliment. We talked about all the things, all the self things, all the things that you can do for yourself. But I think in giving someone else a compliment, maybe it's some random stranger, maybe it's a family member, maybe it's a coworker, maybe it's someone you see on the street, maybe just stopping them and saying to them, I really like your hair today, or you have a beautiful smile. And of course, genuinely meeting the compliment, not just stopping some random person and giving them a generic compliment. See how that small little compliment can make their day. And in turn, that will probably make your day. I think it's so important to understand that you never know what other people are going through. Even the smallest of gesture can completely change someone's day. 
So never underestimate the power of a compliment. I know that sometimes when I just get that genuine compliment or I know someone is thinking of me or maybe they send me a text, it can completely change my entire day. When I get a comment from you guys, it completely changes my day and it makes me feel so good and it makes me feel like what I am doing here is making a difference. I hope you guys appreciate these videos. I am having the best time with Vlogtober. I have one video left in my series. But don't worry because November is coming and we are gonna do a whole month of thankful and grateful and fashion hauls and all kinds of workouts here. I so appreciate you. I'm so grateful for you. I hope that you will consider subscribing to this channel. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day and I'll see you in my next video.